everybody. I went to Instagram and asked you guys if you had any questions for me and you guys of course came through with all sorts of questions. I love like the wide range of questions that I always get. I did want to reintroduce myself. There's been a lot of new subscribers on my channel and I just want to kind of let you guys know who I am and what this channel is about. I am Jessica Violet. Some people call me Violet because it is Violet Vlogs. That's my last name and it just happened to flow for my channel name. But my name is Jessica. I have four beautiful children. I have Natalie who is nine, Landon that is seven, Brayden that is five, and Addison that just turned two. And I am married to Lance Violet. We're a Christian family living in Alaska and we enjoy our adventures here. We do a lot of our stuff during the summertime here because it gets so cold in the winter time. We don't really get an opportunity to get outside a ton during those cold months, but this is about to be summer and we are planning on all the adventures this year. <laughs> my main focus for what I want my channel to be is an imperfect mom who likes to cook and bake. We love going on adventures with our family. Last summer we did a ton of stuff. Now I did not vlog at all just because it does kind of take some time away and some of the trips I just said, you know what, I just want to enjoy my family out in the woods. So <laughs> that's what we did. So. I'm going to be answering your guys' questions, but Mary, I follow her, I'm gonna throw her Instagram right here. She had posted the other day how she had ordered um, some Mexican candies and snacks and stuff, and I have wanted to do this. I enjoy trying new foods and trying new treats. I don't always like them, but <laughs> I enjoy trying them, like you gotta try them once before you can say if you really like them or not. Before we get this started, I'm really sorry for the names if I butcher them, if, uh, when I butcher them, <laughs> but this company they ordered from, this is not sponsored in any way, I bought it, paid for it, everything, but um, Halados La Azteca? I love this, this personalized note, it says, Jessica, thanks so much for your order, we hope you enjoy the products as much as we do, stay safe and snack on. Anyways, I just thought that was really sweet that they sent that. So what I did was I ordered, like they have packs that you can order, basically like sample packs to try different snacks from Mexico. So let's just get into this. Okay, there's a lot here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to try all of these. I'm gonna pick out some of them and we're gonna try them. I've got it all laid out. I do not speak a lick of Spanish, so I don't know what any of this is. I can count to 10 but that is as far as I go. And that is because a babysitter, when I was very, very little, taught me how to count to 10, and for some reason that stuck. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with a few questions, and then we will jump into trying some of this candy. Okay, the first one says, how are you doing? Sanity check. I'm doing pretty good during all this quarantine stuff. We are finally starting to warm up here in Alaska, at least in Fairbanks area. I don't know about everywhere else, but Fairbanks North Pole area is definitely warming up. That has helped my sanity a lot because we've been getting outside and enjoying the outdoors a little bit. What are you telling the kids about COVID and quarantine, if anything? Um, we have talked pretty openly. They're old enough to like kind of understand what's going on and it's a good lesson for like how germs work. So I don't want to scare them in any way, but at the same time, I do want them aware of what is going on and why they're having to be stuck inside so much and not being able to get out and all of that stuff. So they just know that the corona, is here that there is a lot of people sick and it's so sweet sometimes brayden will ask you to say prayers and he'll like pray for the people that are sick that to me is a good way to look at it and not i don't want to teach them to be selfish and be like oh well we don't want to get it and we don't you know we don't want to get sick i'm really trying to say we need to take care of the other people we need to pray for those other people trying to teach them to just you know not not look at it so selfishly um, and just kind of worry about, you know, protecting other people. Anyways, that was long-winded. <laughs> How ready are you for the snow to finally melt? <laughs> we still have a little bit of snow in our yard. Um, and this, this, I had done these questions probably two weeks ago now, but it's taking me a little while to do this. So <laughs> the snow was completely here two week, two, three weeks ago, three weeks ago for sure. I was at the point where I was like, okay, I'm done with the snow. Can we please melt? Stop dumping snow. We got like two feet of snow probably three weeks ago. I could be wrong on that day, but not that long ago. It was like two feet of snow within like four days and it was ridiculous. <laughs> I was done with the snow. It is almost all gone now. 
you guys will see that in the next vlog. I show you guys kind of like what the snow situation is. All right, this is a good one. Have you watched Tiger King? Yes, I have watched Tiger King. Am I proud? Not really, because the first like two episodes, I was like, okay, babe, I cannot watch this. It is just so, <sighs> it's like a train wreck, man. You can't, wa you can't look away. You just gotta see what happens, but it's like hard to watch. A little old Carol there, whew, you gotta watch her. <laughs> Someone asked, have you tried the white coffee from Mochalicious? So good. No, I have not, but that's a good coffee to go try once I get out and about. I would love to go try that. All right, so I, I don't even know what to try here. This is the one I'm gonna try now. No idea what's in it. It looks like chocolate. Oh, it says with real fruit. So there's some type of fruit. I'm gonna go and rip her open and try her. Notice a lot of stuff has chili powder. All right, we are going to give this a try. Oh, that's a big bite. Oh! <coughs> There's so many things going on in my mouth right now. I don't know if it's sweet, or if it's spicy, or if it's salty. Spicy. This is so confusing to my mouth. At first I was like, okay, I get some fruit flavors and then all of a sudden it's like really salty and then all of a sudden, bam, it's like spicy. I don't know. It's kind of fun. It's different. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these. Revol caditas. <laughs> I am so sorry for the way I say these, but this is what it is. Mango flavored chili covered hard candy with soft candy centered. Okay. We're gonna Let's go. Oh, bold. Hmm. Oh, there's the salt. Sorry for the sounds that are coming out of my mouth right now. Okay, it's now gotten to like the hard candy part and it's actually really good. It's like mango flavor. I'm kind of actually digging the like sweet and spicy. I've really been liking like salty and sweet lately, so. This is actually really good. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing because I have a lot of candy to dry. <laughs> okay, let's answer a few more questions. What do you do when mom needs a timeout? What is your go-to perk me up? Um, I like to just sit quietly. As all moms know, the constant need for your attention is very tiring. Now, I always try to give my kids attention if they ask, you know, if they if they ask for me or they ask me a question, I really try to like give them that attention because I don't ever want them to feel just like swept under the rug, like go away. So I really like focus on that. And so it, it is very wearing on me and my fuse gets shorter and shorter. And lately there's been a lot of nights where I've just said, Lance, I need to just go. I will go fly my drone. I really enjoyed flying it. Just things like that, getting out of the house by myself. If I'm going to pick up groceries at night, as most of you know, I just go to click list and I just use that time to sit in the car quietly and not be beckoned. <laughs> I turn on my music and I just, I just get away. Just removing yourself from the normal routine stuff has really helped me at least. What is your pet peeve? Oh, <laughs> my biggest pet peeve is when people take advantage of me in any way, um, especially when they like waste my time. I don't like that. I know it's it sounds so silly and I have, you know, a lot of moms that under, you know, understand like you're, you're running late. And I don't mean like, you know, if someone's 15 minutes late, not a big deal. If you ask me to be somewhere and you completely disregard that I was even coming or you're just like, oh, I'll be there in an hour or whatever, that bothers me a lot. <laughs> I don't like my time wasted. I don't like being taken advantage of. I have been taken advantage of before for many years and uh, that's not something I will ever do again. So, wow, I got deep real quick. This one is a touchy subject for me because um, there's past issues that I think are the reason for my not being taken advantage of. So it is something I need to work on and not just snap at people when I feel like I'm being taken advantage of. But anyways, that's 
my pet peeve. Sorry that got so serious. I know I keep telling you guys about the love, our love story. I would like to do it, but there's some issues of our love story that I think are going to be taken wrong, and that has why is why I have not done it. But I mean, there's is nothing like crazy. I feel like I need to explain my past, like before Lance, before I tell our love story and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Someone asked, how did you and Lance meet and how long did you date before getting married? We technically met through some friends when we were like 16. I was 16 and he was 18. And then um, we didn't date or anything, we just hung out a little bit. I kind of re-met him. I had come up for Christmas, I was living in another state and that's a whole nother thing. We were together about three years before we got married. Um, we got engaged at like the two and a half mark probably um, is when we got engaged and we got married pretty quick just because I was not looking for some extravagant crazy thing. I was just ready, I was ready to get married. <laughs> all right, mazepan chocolate. I'm butchering all the names. All right, this to me looks like a chocolate covered banana, but I have no idea what this is. I don't see chili powder, so I think I'm safe on the spiciness. We're just gonna dive right in. Oh. Whoa. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like a shortbread cookie, but in like a candy version of it. I think there's like peanuts. Wow, I think I might have to take one more bite of that. I'm not even sure what this is, but this is really good. Like I would definitely, definitely have these again. It's kind of hard to explain. It's almost like a Reese's, but like drier. And then it has like chunks of maybe peanut in there. Super good. We're gonna try this one real quick. Is, it, is that Boca Din? Boca Din? <laughs> okay. It's not super sweet. And it kind of has like a coffee taste to it. it definitely has like a, a little bit of a coffee taste. That's really good. Hmm. Joanne asked, are you ready for summer? Yes, I am ready for summer. We are actually supposed to get to almost 80 degrees on Mother's Day, which is this Sunday, and I am so, so very excited. I got slip insides for the kids and just fun things to do. I wanna be able to just enjoy the outdoors. Like I said, Alaskans live for the summers here because it's just too dang cold to get outside during the winters. Did you ever go to public school or only homeschool? And what about Lance? I actually did only homeschool. I'm pretty sure if I would have asked my parents, I probably could have gone to high school, but I was working at the time. I was able to work and do high school and all of that and it was it worked out for me really well. Lance was in a public school his whole years of schooling, um, and he went to Lathrop for any of you locals. Someone said, oh, first car, always a goodie. <laughs> my first car, like my first own car, was a Neon. Was it an O2 Neon? Ooh, I'd have to ask Lance on the year. That was like the first car that was like in my name and like my vehicle. And I actually ended up passing that down to Heidi, my sister, and she wrecked it because she was a terrible driver. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> she literally hit a pothole and the tire just like fell off, but it was a good little car. That thing actually made the trip from here down to the lower 48 and back up. So it was a good little car for me. Someone asked, how do you keep your kids from going stir crazy with the Corona quarantine? <laughs> I try my best to, to keep them busy, but there's only so much you can do for kids. It's, it just feels kind of like Groundhog's Day. Like everything's kind of the same. Like I said, we've been getting outside recently and the kids just enjoy it. Like if we go outside, they basically just roam and they explore and they have fun. And then we normally do a walk. I did order a bunch of stuff off Amazon, like a gummy bear maker and a, the little, a little flower pot thing for Natalie and a thing that makes crystals just like like tons of little things that they can do to tell you the truth we haven't done a ton of them <laughs> a lot of them are still sitting on my counter but i had good intentions <laughs> somebody asked are you going to have any more children we are like 99.9% .9 sure we are done having children. Uh, we are pretty content. I am very busy. I feel very tapped out, but like tapped out in a good way. I'm not like crazy overwhelmed, but there's definitely days I get overwhelmed. And I, I think that could be whether you have one kid or you have five or 10. Um, I think 
that's just how it's gonna be. But we both feel pretty content in our hearts. Also, we would probably have to buy a big vehicle and I am not about that bus life. <laughs> Did you and Lance both grow up in Alaska and have you always lived there? We are actually both born at the hospital that all of our children were born at. So we are both born and raised, which is pretty rare here. Lance went to school in Arizona for a year and a half, I believe. I actually lived in South Dakota for about a year and a half or so and I hated it. <laughs> absolutely hated it. All right, so we have a few more questions, but I'm gonna, I have a lot more I need to try here. So these, these are just, I believe, Mexican Cheetos, but I've heard that these are something special. And so I've wanted to try these for a long time now and I finally ordered them. So we're gonna give them a try. Oh, those are not Cheetos. For anybody wondering what they look like, they look like regular Cheetos, but they look like they have chili powder to me. Okay. These are ridiculously good. Like, I like Cheetos, but these, they're almost like a fluffier, like not so hard and crunchy, but it's definitely like a chili powder type thing over the top of them, and it's like a little bit spicy. Guys, these are so good. Oh my gosh. I did also get the flaming ones. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat those. <laughs> these are fantastic though. Okay, these are like kind of weird. I think Lance got these for the kids when he was in Mexico. Oh, there's definitely more of that chili powder. We're just gonna, this is, is this supposed to be hair? I think you like push this up. Can you guys see that? I think you're supposed to push it up. There's plenty. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. It's um, very sweet and it tastes like lemon and it's salty and some chili. It's not something I would normally purchase, but let me know down in the comments if you are from Mexico. Is all this stuff like pretty normal stuff that people get down there or is someone just, you know, selling people things that they have know nothing about? <laughs> We're gonna save those bad boys for last because I'm pretty sure these are going to remove all of my taste buds because these things are all spicy and they haven't said that they're spicy, but this one actually says that it's spicy and I'm a little scared for my life. <laughs> this is the next one. Milk candy wafer. We're gonna go with that. That's the one I can read. This looks like almost like paper on the outside and then it has some things in the middle, maybe caramel. Okay, here goes. Is that? It almost tastes like not very sweet caramel. That one's not my favorite. <laughs> We're gonna answer some more questions. What show are you watching right now on Netflix? I just got done re-watching New Girl on Netflix. I watched like all seven seasons, I think during this whole quarantine. <laughs> I'm not proud, okay? I love that show. The last season is like, I, it's my least favorite. One through six is like so good on that show. And I just love her personality, how she's like quirky and kind of innocent, but like the whole show is really funny and I just love it. Her name is Jessica, but that has nothing to do with it, okay? <laughs> Lance and I together are currently watching Outer Banks which is a very interesting show. It's kind of entertaining. I think it's for like teenagers, but you know what? We're young at heart, it's fine. <laughs> what are your plans for this summer? Our plans for the summer are to enjoy it as much as possible. We want to rent a motorhome. We want to just go camping in a motorhome because I ain't about that dry life. There's too many like big animals in the woods that could just like stomp on you or roll you up in your tent and take a bite like a taco. I am not about putting my family in a tent. <laughs> I know people come here to do that stuff, but it just makes me so nervous. I would much rather have like four solid walls if we're gonna go out in the middle of the woods. Lance is trying to convince me to go in a tent this summer. That just sounds very crazy to me, but we would like to rent a motorhome, go do some traveling. There is just a lot of like adventure stuff we have planned for the summer. So I am looking forward to that. I'm a little concerned for some of these, like this one. I'm not even 
even sure what to say. This looks like a spoonful of chili powder and mango. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. This makes me very nervous. What is this? There's no instructions. This is legit just a plastic spoon with stuff on it, with plastic around it, and they put a rubber band here. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one real quick because this one scares me the most because yeah, there's not even, I mean, I can't even try to pronounce something on this. I don't know what this is called. What, if you know what this is called, please leave it down in the comments because I don't know what I'm eating right now. I don't know if it's gonna burn my entire mouth out or if it's just gonna like soak up every ounce of water because it's salty. I don't think it's gonna be super sweet. A lot of this candy does not seem to be on the sweeter side. It's more salty and spicy. <sighs> supposed to eat it but we're just gonna go with that it's like a popsicle this is actually really good I have no idea what this is it tastes that mango I do taste a tiny bit of chili powder it reminds me of the lollipops with like the chili powder over the top but like kind of in one okay that's actually really good I gave that way too much flack for like actually liking it why is it on a spoon why the, why isn't it just on like a, a popsicle stick it's like the most gentle on the taste buds that I've had so far. Like a lot of stuff is just really like, bam, it's in your mouth. Like this is really good. This is like the perfect amount of like the salty and the sweet and the spicy. Last few questions and I'm gonna try these fire things. Watch them not be that spicy. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to bake? My favorite thing to bake is always goo bars. I have done a video on this. I'm going to put the video up here in the corner. It's like a cookie dough crust with like a fudge middle. Crumble some of the crust on top of it and then you bake it for 30 minutes and it's so good. Now for cookie wise, I just made a cookie and it's gonna be in this next video that is the best cookie I have ever had in my entire life. Ever. And that has nothing to do with me. It's not a cookie recipe I made, but it's one I got. Anyways, look forward to that because that's gonna be in the next video. Okay, that is enough for the questions for today. I didn't get crazy far into them. Okay. I'm scared. What is this? Is this this says 21. Does that mean you have to be 21 to have these because they're so spicy? Are they gonna burn my mouth out? Hot chili pepper and lime tortilla chips. <sighs> It says extreme. Takis? Fuego? Am I saying that right? Fuego? I feel like I'm saying that word right. That may be the only word I said correctly this whole time. We're gonna go for it. Oh, these look so... I am a little scared for my life right now. These look like they could start on fire. They're so hot. <laughs> All right, here goes. Oh my gosh, why are they so red? I guess you have a glass of milk. Why do you put the whole thing in? Hmm. Wow, I kind of like the lot. pretty good heat tolerance. Like I can handle heat and like for a second it was pretty crazy. It's it's tameable now. I ate one chip though. If I were to eat more than that, I think I would, I like, I'm, I'm actually legit hot right now from one of these. How do people eat these? <laughs> what? Ow. At this point, I'm scared to eat anything else because my taste buds are a little bit burned out right now. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd try like one or two more, but I think I'm done for the night. I really enjoy this. If you guys have any candy recommendations for maybe another country or anything like that, I would love to hear it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!